Hi. Today we are going to do a cute little bobtail squid. A squid is a bioluminescent creature. Well, this one is because it's very brightly coloured, and we want to put those bright colours in and make it look really cute and quirky. So let's go to it. I'm going to start with its big bulbous nose. So do a big round nose like that. There we go. And a little bump there. And this is going to come up and I'm going to make that a smile. And then there. And then let's do the little lovely cute eye. Now you can do any eye you like. Any style eye, I'm going to do a big shine in mine. Big shiny eye. And then we'll colour in the black. We can do that in paint, of course, so we don't have to do it in pencil, but I'm just doing that to let you see what it looks like. Round it a bit more. There we go. And they have a little rim round it, rim round the eye. Now they have these fins on the nose. It's not really its nose, but it looks like its nose. There. And now for the legs. Now squid have six legs, not eight, like an octopus. So let's put the first leg in, and I like to make them curly round like that. They look cuter that way. So there's the first leg. The second leg we want, or tentacle, we want to put round the behind them. So each tentacle or leg goes behind the other one. There we go. And then and let's have this go up the other way. Make it a bit varied. One, two, three, four. We've got two more. Let's do this one round the back of that one. And last but not least, let's do this one waving. There. Okay, let's do some painting now. Now, I'm going to do a technique with wet on wet. So I'm just going to wet the paper. Just do all that with water so that it's nice and wet. And then let's get some light colours. And I'm just going to drop in the light colours. You see bright light colours. Drop them in the wet water so that they go all blurry. Try not to go over the lines. Just keep them in one place. That's it. And then before it dries, let's put in another colour. So I have a little bit of green. Again, just drop the colour in gently so that it, it's blurry. Let's have a tiny bit of purpley red. Maybe there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Now don't overdo the colours. If you do too many colours, it goes all muddy. All right, let's do the tentacles. Now I'm going to do them just straight paint. One at a time. Because I have to be a little bit more careful with them. If you've got a small brush, it might help. Or one with a, a very good point there. Last, well, this one here. And let's just fill in this little fin thing. And then any details you want to finish. Just neaten anything up you want to. I'm just going to put a bit of black Brownie black for the, the nice dark eye there. 
Now do this very carefully. You can use a, a Sharpie, a black Sharpie or a black pen if you've got one, if that's easier for you. And just do the eye nice and carefully. Whoops, it's not dry, so that's that's my mistake there. Let's just touch that up. If you make a mistake, use the paper towel, just dab it like that, and it'll go right again, and then you can just redo it. I hadn't quite waited for that bit to dry. There. So what I'll do, because it's not quite dry, I'll just finish that with a sharpie there. There. So having done the eye, we're going to put some more details in. And notice on the pictures of the bobtail squids, they're quite spotty. So we're going to put some spots on the tentacles. So let's get some light red there. And I'm just going to drop some spots in. The, the paint's actually still wet, which is quite good because it spreads them in a lovely manner. Here we go. A few more around there. Yeah. I think we're finished. A lovely cute bobtail squid.